because we just had a meeting with my team yesterday and it's just the latest of many meetings that you have been able to facilitate for us and and it's all geared toward really deepening the emotional connection and really understanding that in your words the enemy is not the other person but it's the negative cycle that we get into and that negative cycle is created when the communication is not intact when we're not really having dialogue with one another at a deeper connection at a deeper level but instead we get triggered and when my team realized that we all get triggered with something we don't in corporate america slow ourselves down enough to realize what a trigger really is and how does that affect the way we think the way we look at the person in front of us we put blame or judgment on the person in front of us instead of understanding oh my goodness i just got triggered slow down and stop and just say wait a minute i just got triggered and when i get triggered when i lose control this is how i feel Therefore, I try to gain control. And me, I go to action. Other people may go to hiding. Other people may go to blame. The other thing that was really helpful, I think, in all of our processes that you have taken me and my team through is the list of emotions. A lot of times, we can't put our finger on emotions. Yesterday was an example. One of the individuals on the team really needed to ponder and really needed to think and i said well take a look at the list and so with the list of emotions he was able to say oh i feel like this i feel like this and even i i put a little dot in the four or five emotions that i was feeling when something happened in the conversation and i was able to articulate i feel like this and so for the other person to hear what is what their actions are causing in me or how I'm getting triggered and how I feel, uh, it, it's, it creates an emotional connection that is real. And hearing from my team yesterday, <laughs> oh my gosh. I was, I've been pondering on this all night last night and all morning this morning because it's like a coach's dream to hear your team talk about what you have done for them as a leader and how that has spilled over to their relationships with their employees, with their clients, and most importantly, or just as importantly, with their family members and how they're having deeper connections and deeper conversations with their family members. It's amazing. So it's, it's a coach's dream. And I, Lola, I can't thank you enough. You have given us a way to communicate with one another. I thought I had a really high EQ before. I've tested at, off the charts. And I thought, well, I may not need so much, but, but our one-on-ones and what you have done for my team has been completely invaluable. I give one of the best pieces of advice to leaders, to executives in every field, I would say, you know, run to the phone and call you. And really, whether it's a board that needs to a board member. I just had one of my key partners in the company just left my office and she left saying, you know what, we're going to make a difference. You and I are going to make some changes together. We're going to lock arms. And it was a wonderful meeting and being able to create that emotional connection with someone and be real. Because for me, it's all about values. It's all about authenticity. And it's all about showing up and not believing, you know, the lie of the business card. I am not my business card. I keep them in my office and I don't even take them anywhere because I'm not that business card. The title means nothing to me. What I am is who I am and what I come and bring to the table. And you've been able to give me the tools to be able to articulate that and to break down the barriers.
So thank you from the bottom of my heart for the journey. It's a journey. We're not done. And, and I get that. <laughs> it, it's always a journey because we're ever evolving. But, but what happened yesterday was beyond, beyond belief. Thank you so much. Oh, that was amazing. You know, when, when one of them said, well, I just wanted to protect you. And I haven't told you this because you go into action and I have a bias for action. I get that activator is one of my top five strengths on the strength finder. So I know, and mm -hmm. they know that. And so I didn't want to tell you because I know you're going to activate and I don't want you to just activate. Um, and, and so we, we put some rules to the road is, okay, no, I'm going to tell you because I want you to hear and listen and empathize with me and understand where I'm at. And all I need is for you to be here with me. That's it. So that was, yeah, that was critical. The session we did, we had about normal four hours work to do. We started at the top. We created the context of what needed to happen. We gave some clarity on the rules of how we were going to make the decisions. And I started on the board. We had four sheets of paper on the board and we started, okay, this is the list we have. And we went through it and at exactly two o'clock on here, I said, look at the clock, we're done. We wow. finished wow. In, in record time, but we were laser-like focused and we were united by getting emotionally connected the way we did. We knew that we had each other's back. We didn't have to second guess if somebody said, no, I want it this way. It would have been really easy for somebody else to say, well, why do you want it that way? Don't you understand where I'm coming from? They all understood where everybody came from. And so because all of that noise was taken away by having the emotional connection with each other, we were able to only focus on the task at hand and getting it done. I didn't have to maneuver through, oh my gosh, I have to worry that this person is going to feel like this other person did something that's going to hurt their feelings or their ego. You've got to maneuver through all of that. By getting all of that noise completely out of the way, then all of a sudden, the only thing you're dealing with is exactly the task at hand. So you just get it done in record time. That's what happened. Feeling very blessed uh, to be leading a team like this that can, that is comfortable in being vulnerable with one another and just showing up and standing for each other and making decisions together and, and really trusting each other that we all have each other's back. And our job is to be our very best for our members of our team and for our communities in that we don't own any of it. We've been entrusted with it. And we're going to do the very best we can for one another and for our clients and our employees. I mean, life doesn't get any better than that. So absolutely, I'm ecstatic.